Hey, hi all. Welcome back to BRR Knowledge Center. In this today's session, we'll see like how we are going to configure stress load uh, to the specific API or website and run through Locust. So, so far we have seen uh, step, step load configurations and default configurations and uh, no um, runtime configurations. We just mentioned using iPhone U and iPhone T and iPhone R options. And now in this session, we'll see like how to uh, uh, create some stages, like, you know, so and so duration, how many users you wanted to run with the kind of a span rate. And again, in the second stage, how much, uh, you know, duration you're keeping and how many users you wanted to run like that. We're going to create stages and run through um, Locust. So again, uh, to run this, we have to use load test shape class, which is inbuilt of uh, Locust. If the code is having load test shape class, then the um, uh, Locust uh, compiler will start executing from there and it look for the configurations and it start executing a tick definition and the, the, uh, this tick uh, procedure will get the uh, required stuff after executing the you know stages um, uh, comparison and calculations and then it will start executing your task set you are defining inside of your load test scripts okay let me quickly open my visual studio coder i'm just opening here I'm just going to create one more new class, new uh, Python file, stressload.py. And uh, if you look at earlier, we are uh, just uh, having a step load, which is uh, configuring step time and step load and span rate and time limit. And based on that, it is you know landing and adding users based on the step time. So, you know, so 20 times it is adding 10, 10, 10 till 100 users, 100 seconds. So basically 20 into 500, so 20 into 10 and 200 users are added here. It is uh, like, you know, a spike kind of testing where it is adding, you know, uh, in, based on the interval you are mentioning it here, step-by-step step it is adding user count and putting some pressure on to your website to uh, let you know, uh, see how the server is behaving. But when it comes to stress load, you know, uh, it is uh, keeping your uh, configurations, right? Till the mentioned duration instead of you know adding and after that duration it is going to add other uh, set of users okay um, what happened? This is, sorry this is step sorry this is step load and this is just load okay so to do that what i'm going to do is uh, i have some uh, code here which is already available and just copying the stuff um, this is something I'm just keeping here. If you look at here, same stages, right? Stages, shape, load test, shape. So here we have a different uh, uh, configurations instead of step lower and step time and runtime and um, runtime duration. Here we have stages. As like, if you look at the K6 Grafana open source tool, which again, using it for load testing of a website and web APIs. There also we have uh, similar configurations where you can define the stages instead of options. Let no export options where you can mention the default uh, configuration options there, creating stages like, you know, stage one. So how many users and the duration kind of uh, span rate. Similarly here also this load test shape class is having stages. So I'm just uh, creating a kind of array here. Duration is 10 seconds and use is 10 and span rate is 10. And again, duration is 50 and 50 user count span rate is 10. That means initially it will take 10 users and run uh, till 10 seconds, right? And after that, it will take 50 users and run uh, till, you know, other 40 seconds. And again, it will take 100 users and it will run another 50 seconds. And it will take uh, add another 30 users. That means uh, like, you know, uh, uh, other uh, uh, count uh, will come here because by adding all this stuff and it will run another 30 seconds here and again another 10 users will get added and it will run the next 60 seconds and so for again 20 seconds for one user that means it is you know fixing some uh, stages where first stage is 10 users for 10 seconds and 50 users for next 40 seconds 100 users for next 50 seconds and again 30 users for kind of you know uh, next 20 seconds like that so again tick is the default method inside of load test shape class which is going to uh, start executing before uh, getting to your load test scripts execution process. And it will take all your defined stages through a loop here for loop, and it will compare the runtime comparison with the stage duration. And if it is less than, then it will take, like, get the tick data from this configuration in the uh, array, 
and it will uh, return back uh, to the load test scripts class. If it is not inside of this particular you know, scenario and pattern, it will simply return none. Okay, so I think this is as usual, same like you know, load test uh, scripts, right? A very initial class we're writing here, and we are just giving this to here. And this is you know, load test uh, scripts starter where it is starting and it is you now taking think time and the task set you are defining here is load test scripts and the host is you're defining same and this is anyway i think uh, default execution process so here i didn't import it any other aspects here of the apart from locust http user task set and task and constant and load test shape okay when i say this and start running this let's see like how it is running and uh, this time i think i'll not use any ui but uh, for the testing i think let us show you like the locust minus f stress load pi so that it will again um, ask you to browse this you know a locust yo let me browse this and it will ask you again uh, it will not ask you anything but it only enables the host entry and this is again pulling from my uh, program and hitting this it will start uh, something 10 uses essentially for 10 seconds and again it is now adding another kind of stuff till uh, uh, you know 10 seconds other 10 seconds then it will add something stuff you go and see in the command prompt very clearly uh, you can see that so um, uh, ramping to 10 uses at rate of 10 per second and again uh, ramping to uh, you know uh, 50 uses at rate of 10 right uh, go and see your configurations here so that you will have a clear picture on that configurations, right? So um, if you look at here, 10 uses at 10 span rate, first one, and again, 50 uses, right? At 10 seconds, 10 per second, right? It will run next 50 seconds, right? So here, 10 uses run for 40 seconds or 10 seconds and 50 uses run for 50 seconds and 100 uses for 100 seconds and 30 uses for 120 seconds and uh, you know 10 uses for 180 seconds this is what the configuration you are having it inside so same thing it is getting in uh, showing your uh, as the stats here so 10 ramping and 50 ramping 100 ramping it is increasing basically but here in this case i just mentioned 30 uses let's see like how it is um, showing 30 uses in this case and i think you can go and see in the graph also it is clearly showing you show you how it is moving so if you look at 9, 12, 50, something, right? It is 10 users, right? Gradually it is 10, 10, 10, right? Uh, 10, 10, I think it started here, 30, because it, it is finished here, 10, right? So um, we had just mentioned 10 seconds, right? So it just started, you know, increasing after 59 or because 50 and at the time of 60, it means uh, 9, 13, it started to 30 users and then it started to 50. And then start at 50 till you know here and again here it's changing user count right based on that it is you now hitting every um, request and you can see the user count and this is something uh, failures happening it let me see any failures uh 429 client too many requests for you are okay it seems uh, configure different um, I know um, restrictions on my API, hence it is throwing this exception. I think let me uh, go back here and uh, where is that uh, launch settings? Uh, I think app settings uh, mentioned uh, every five seconds. I think till five seconds limit, I just, just mentioned 100. I shall give something find. I don't see like let us run through. Uh, let me go back to my load test and uh, close this. Okay, this time I think what we will do is we will not run through um, Y. So we will run from here itself. Okay, and see like how it is running. I'm just giving stress load here, headless, and see how it is ramping up. So, is that my dashboard? Yeah, now you can see here ramping 10 users for 10 seconds. So you definitely having a you know 10 10 and again 50 uses for 10 seconds again it is uh, running you know 50 seconds other 50 seconds and again 100 uses for uh, 100 seconds and 30 uses for 
couple of other 120 seconds. Then let's see that. Uh, it's coming, coming, 100 users. So that means it will hit 100 times to the locations API. So we have to wait till that time. So that's how it is. So I think this time we are not seeing any failure here. Almost all are zero, zero because we configured to find the users. 500 request uh, it is supporting in within five seconds 50 users at rate of 10 per second per second it is adding 10 okay so 50 and 250 request here okay going and going on i think almost 200 let me kill this so 100 users at rate of 10 seconds again i'm killing here that okay so this is something is it is running i think we have to configure based on that because it is going to take long time so to we have to wait it for otherwise i think uh, i can run through and i can show you the results because uh, if i say that i, can, I think uh, just 20 uh, i think 30 and this is something 40 and something 50 and let us see this is one user only and this case i think i'll add 60 and this is something 70 and this is something 80 and this is 90 and let's see like uh, how it is running here almost 10 10 10 let me configure that and see like how it is running now see like uh, 10 uses of uh, 10 span rate um, so it is hitting 38 uh, request and then 74 and triple one 148 185 and then ramping it to 20 uses of 10 seconds and again 255 request 327 401 471 and then it is 543 i think uh, 614 690 760 and you can see no failures so far i think it is fine and it is very healthy uh, the api observer and it is responding uh, good uh, the proper uh, data uh, where are we i think 30 uses we are so it is 60 seconds it is running now it's ramping up to 30 users at rate of 10 seconds it is hitting i think uh, here we are in 30 seconds uh, 30 users and span rate 10 and duration we have mentioned 60 and again ramping up to 40 users at rate of 10 i think uh, at the 10 seconds we have given gap here i think next 10 seconds it is running for that 20 users and then ramping up to 50 users for again the next 10 seconds because we mentioned 70 and 80 and 2 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and again ramping up to one user uh, for next 10 seconds right so if you can see that my testing have been completed right you can see that now so everything has been finished out and you can see total how many requests being sent to our server 3253 and 280 seconds average and 20 minimum and so and so and failures i don't see any failures here uh, so everything is fine successfully send back response from server to client this is something putting some stress on your web server to know the status of web server with this kind of uh, you know configurations using locustio so only thing is you need to create stages here based on the stages that is going to start you know, putting a button on that web server till the duration point and then it is adding uh, next stage next stage next stage till the stages you've been mentioned in the stages array okay so simply uh, it's kind of a uh, uh, low stress test on your web server uh, which can um, uh, give you the you know behavior and the kind of uh, capability of your server and functioning of your web server okay I hope you understand the creation of stages and running through locust and adding of duration and the users and span rate in the stages and run through using low test shape class. Thanks for listening to this video and please subscribe this channel for more videos. Thank you.